We are here today in loving memory of Palafin. May Arceus rest his soul. And now a moment of silence. Thank you. Before we get started, uh, let's get a background set up. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, so if you've been living under a rock for the past two weeks, Regulation D has been announced, and it is going to take everything you know about VGC and turn it upside down. I'm sorry to all the new players, but if you played in Sword and Shield, you're going to see some familiar faces. I'm talking Reginald oh, Ellicold. I'm talking OG Cocaine Bear, and I'm talking Three Wishes themselves, the genies. And an Amorous. Do you like tanks? Because this guy's kind of like a tank. If you're new, let me give you a quick little rundown of what you're going to be looking at in Reg D. Right now, on Showdown, there's two major teams. We have Hard Trick Room and Urshifu. One I'm actually excited about. The other is Trick Room. For all you slow mode enjoyers out there, let's go over Trick Room real quick. There's a vast, vast land of Trick Room setters now. We have Cresselia. We have Fluttermane. We have Screamtail. Does Screamtail get Trick Room? Hello. Hey, does Screamtail get Trick Room? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Just need to know that. Later. Okay. Okay. You get Screamtail. We get Galarian Articuno, which I didn't know got Trick Room until I lost to it last night on Ladder. And my personal favorite, Weird Ear. Now, this is, the, this is the hidden meta. This is stuff I get clowned for in all my discords, but hear me out. It's a Trick Room Setter with Intimidate. People are going to Worlds off the back of Stantler, and now it evolves. Now, I know it's closed team sheet, it's closed team sheet, blah, 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 blah. It's still winning, okay? Okay. So, as I was saying, you get this vast array of Trick Room Setters, maybe even two of them, you know, be safe. You pair it with Cocaine Bear, the new one, the, the ground type one. You pair it with any of your old favorite Trick Room Sweepers. You can do Ndidi Armourouge. You can do blah, 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 blah. Cocaine Bear. It hurts. It gets Headlong Rush. It's like better Great Tusk. So keep an eye out for that on Ladder. But now let's get into the, the realm I know a little bit more about. We got Fast Bear. <laughs> you have Tornadus and Urshifu. This is your core. You stick them next to each other. Turn one if you wanted to. You Tailwind with Tornadus. You Protect with Urshifu. Turn two. You Rain Dance with Tornadus. And you Surging Strikes with Urshifu. That is a Oko. I de like on most anything. You know the meme that's like, that's cool, but have you calced it against this? This is the new calc. Have you calced it against... Terra Water, Mystic Water, Surging Strikes Urshifu in the rain. You have to now. You have to calc against it now because it's going to kill your entire team. The upside of this team is you're not stuck running just Tornadus Urshifu. This isn't like Trick Room. This is not your whole team. You can throw Reggie Alecki in there for speed control, which is basically just the new Iron Bundle. Well... Iron Bundle is still faster with booster energy because shout out my boy Bundle. But he's basically the old Iron Bundle. You can throw Galarian Moltres on this team, which, by the way, sneaky strong. Fiery Wrath is 100% accurate with a 20% chance to flinch and hits both opposing Pokemon. 20% chance to flinch. And then we have, you know, the staples. We have Amoongus, who I know everyone has been running their Citrus Berry their mental or whatever, throw a Rocky Helmet on your Amoongus right now. This is the only way to stop Urshifu. Listen to me. Heed my warning. Amoongus is the only way to stop Urshifu. Put a Rocky Helmet on it. You will thank me later. And then we get to bring back everyone's favorite, Landorus Therian. Now, everyone was, you know, making the memes of, 
oh, they couldn't go one year without Lando T. Lando T is going to ruin the meta. I think he dropped off a little bit. Like, let's just all be real with each other. He was only good because whenever he Dynamaxed, he got max Airstream and max Quake. Are you really going to throw Fly on a Landorus now? Are you going to put Fly on a competitive Pokemon? I would like to see you do it. Basically, to make Lando the oppressive force he was before, you have to use a Terra on him. Otherwise, he's just getting blasted by an Ice type. Which, we have actual Ice types now. Bundle still exists. Freeze Dry is going to kill. That's just a kill. Regieleki, Terra Ice, Terra Blast. Gonna kill. Landris, still a good Pokemon. He's just not the oppressive force he was before. That's just my quick rundown of uh, Reg D. I'm sure there's a lot I forgot, but I just wanted to give you all a quick little, quick little something. If you like this type of video, think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, this is new to me. I'm trying out new things, and uh, I really like the idea of this, just me standing in front of a green screen talking for a while. So if y'all like it, I'll keep doing it. So let me know how I'm doing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good one. And oh, before I forget, <laughs> I almost, I almost, I genuinely almost forgot. I'm working on a whole like Google Doc for Reg D. Hey, I'm recording right now. Can you not? Thanks. Where was I? I'm working on a Google Doc for Reg D for new players because I know personally I have friends that are new to VGC and know nothing about these Pokemon. Kind of the inspiration for this video. The link to it is going to be in the description. I'm working on everything I can right now. It has every Pokemon that's being added with home besides like Carbink, I think. <laughs> It has all their base stat totals. It has notable moves. It has teammates. It has everything you would want to know about the Pokemon put into a Google Doc. And it's being updated daily. So if you have something to contribute to that, feel free to shoot me a DM on Twitter or email me. My email will be in the description. Check it out. I think it's pretty helpful, but that's just my opinion on it. So again, thank you all for watching. Drop a sub, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want to do. If you don't want to do any of that, Cool. If you want to keep watching videos, here's one right here. Take it easy. Y'all have a good one. Did you know that in terms of Pokemon and human compatibility? No. No.